Do you want a 2TB USB drive for 6 bucks delivered? Too good to be true, right? There's a whole bunch of 2TB USB drives on eBay and AliExpress that look kind of the same, but have different brand names. I'm pretty sure those companies have nothing to do with those drives. What surprised me is that there are thousands of sold items and all feedback is mostly positive. So I went ahead and bought a couple of these just for fun, to check out their actual capacity and how they look inside. I'll put links down below. This one is super light and cheaply made, and if we look at its contacts, we can see that it's a slow USB 2.0 drive. Same situation here, but this one also has a USB-C interface, which is very convenient. So you can also plug it into your phone or tablet. I have a USB drive from a reputable company with a pretty similar design, and this half terabyte USB 3.1 drive costs about 50 bucks. So let's connect these drives to the computer and see what they have to offer. So as you can see, in the drive's properties both meet the claimed 2 terabyte capacity. Of course, that means nothing because you can easily program the controller to display any drive capacity you want. Also, if we click on the Hardware tab, you can see that these drives are named as USB 3.0, which has nothing to do with that interface. Same story here. So what I'm gonna do is copy a bunch of these 5GB video files and let's see what happens. Typical write speed for USB 2.0 drive. That's already 10 files on the drive, which is about 50 gigs. So far so good. Alright, something changed on the 11th file. The write speed dropped twice and I believe we've hit the bottom here. I let it finish up. As you can see, the last video file isn't playing at all. And this one is damaged only at the end. Now let's check the file properties. As you can see, the corrupted file has absolutely the same capacity as a working file, so I would never trust the data integrity on this drive. So, the best thing you can do for a drive like this is to adjust its capacity close to the actual one. Go ahead and right-click the Start button and choose Disk Management. Right-click on your USB drive, select Delete Volume, then right-click again and choose New Simple Volume. Let's create a 53GB partition. Select XFAT file system so it's compatible with all platforms. Click Next and Finish. Now let's run the same test on the other USB drive. Wow, that's incredibly slow! Ok, I'm gonna stop this insanity because it's already been 2 hours and the speed started to drop to zero on the last file. I'm pretty sure that both are 64GB in capacity with an available storage space of about 53 to 55 gigs. Now let's go ahead and take apart one of these to see what's hidden inside. Well, there isn't much to see. Good luck trying to recover data from a drive like this. It's a very cheap monolith design, and even if we had access to the memory chip and the controller, they usually remove the markings, so it wouldn't really help us anyway. Here's the memory chip and its silicon dime. This is a common scam. If you come across any high-capacity storage device being offered at an extremely low price, chances are it's a scam. But if you're in need of an affordable USB drive, especially for situations where you don't expect the drive to be returned after sharing files, well, it's just 6 bucks. So I hope this was helpful, stay safe and don't fall for scams.